Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Luciano is having a good day, recharging his batteries at the seashell shop. Give them a visit when you come to town. They let uh, Luciano recharge his devices there, which is very nice of them. A little overcast this morning, but it's going to be full on sunshine later today. Or so our weatherman Dale Nelson says. Uh, the locals call him Dead Wrong Dale, but he's a good dude. It's always nice to have a spiffy nickname. <laughs> hey, I wanted to say hello to my friends Paige and Dennis. They have been awesome. Been with me a long time. Paige and Dennis, roll my intro. Well, the boys are lining up for breakfast. <laughs> he was right next door where he works. <laughs> and I say, there he is. Good morning. Uh-oh. We got a rumble. I say he works here because he's on the sign. And he's just chasing off another one that went down further. So you know you work here when you're on the sign. <gasps> Puppy dog. Puppy dog. Hey, buddy. hey, how are you today, bud? Ooh. He had a black eye. His wife must have straightened him out. <laughs> I have never gotten a full-on black eye. I've gotten all types of nicks and scrapes. It's it's funny, these two egrets are running and chasing each other and this guy moved in for the for the free grub. But you can see they have the egrets on the sign. There's one there and one there. Wow. Guess we picked a good time. It's like, that's a beautiful dog. It's like Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom up in here. <laughs> Pretty neat. If you're looking for bait, guys, check them out. Talked to the owner about a week ago. I don't know if I'm going to remember any of this again and get it right, but his name was Mitch. And uh, he just opened up about a month ago. Got a pelican and another egret on the side here. Wonder what they did before humans came along. <laughs> it's still a competitive world, even when they're getting the food from the humans it's going to be nice later today guys we're going to see that thing in the sky that fiery thing I forget what it's called it's been a while but I'm looking forward to it the Sun that's what it was time for a quick quick dad joke where do armies go in your sleeveys <laughs> Thank you, folks. Don't forget to tip your waiter and waitresses. I'm here all week. Some mail, guys. This comes from uh, friends in Kansas. And they requested that I don't, you know, make a big deal out of it on a video. And, you know, their name doesn't need to be mentioned. So uh, I did want to acknowledge it on video just to let you guys know that I did get it. Thank you very much. Uh, very kind of you. 
a perfect raid in the gas tank. That's a, a Visa gift card. And uh, I hope you guys are getting some warmer weather soon. Thank you very much. I really appreciate this. I was parked here at Rockport Beach, guys, kind of up by the gate. And I saw a police car cruise through. I had a pretty good rate. Uh, the speed limit's 20. And uh, he was going, I don't know, 30, nothing insane. And there's maybe two or three of us in the whole beach area, so it's safe. I didn't think much of it. Then a second car came through here pretty fast. And when I saw that, I decided I'm old and nosy and I better get up there and see what's going on. And a third car came whizzing in. And I can see him up here on the right at the end of the beach, kind of where we go to watch the dolphins. And like I said, I'm old and I need to know what's going on. So I'm going to uh, go rubberneck and check things out. This is an interesting choice of parking spaces. Believe it or not, there's a lane here. <laughs> Officer, can one of you come down here and address this situation? <laughs> Let's see what's going on, guys. Huh. Three cars. One citizen. Well, someone's going to jail today, folks. Someone was not playing nice with the police. Lots of people rubbernecking, huh? see three officers and the three cop cars. I hope the officers are all okay. Let's see uh, see what's happened. Looks like we missed any excitement. The one policeman just said to the other two, I'm going to need your help again. He's raising hell. By the way, guys, acting like a fool once you're in handcuffs isn't going to help your situation any. God bless the patience of these policemen. Well, I will have to check the police blotter in an hour or so and see who got arrested and what for. There's dolphins, guys. I saw a dolphin. I just spotted three dolphins now that our police fun is over. There's one officer still over there with the uh, vehicle. But three dolphins just came up in tandem. And we got them. Yay, dolphins. Thank you, dolphins. I've seen them seven or eight times, but they just weren't cooperating about being on film. There you go. There they go again, guys. They're cooperating a little bit, getting on film today. Yeah, I will check the Aransas County Police Blotter in a little bit and we'll see what they got arrested for. I would imagine there's a charge in there for resisting arrest, the way that guy was carrying on. Just some advice for any young people out there. Once the cops show up, Whatever you're doing, stop. <laughs> you'll live a lot longer and you'll limp a lot less. Take it from me, kids. I live in my truck. <laughs> it's going to be nice tomorrow afternoon, guys. There's the policeman. 
Guess he's waiting for a tow truck to show up. Well, no one was injured. It was a good day. And here comes the tow truck. They got here quick. There's an extra four or five hundred bucks to get your vehicle out of impound. All right, guys, bring it in. I want to hit you all with some hard facts now. If you're thinking you're going to get any food, you're wrong and you're wasting your time. I have no food. And if I did, I wouldn't give it to you guys. Now, if your purpose here is to be annoying, keep up the good work. Package in the mail, guys. I get this every month from my friends, Paige and Dennis. Paige and Dennis, thank you so much. I appreciate this. And uh, it is a 30-day supply of these packets. You take three a day. And they also uh, will include, when they send it, uh, vitamin D supplements, which I guess works together. Uh, that's a big help. Uh, my knees are horrible, and uh, I hate to think where I would be without these supplements. So, Paige and Dennis, thanks again. I appreciate you guys. Hey, Mr. Pelican. I hope your day is going well. And guys, I owe you an apology. I was going through my paperwork the other day, and I found an envelope with $11 in it, and that $11 was labeled Blessing Box. So that is money that you have sent me that I have not spent to fill the Blessing Box, and we haven't been there in weeks. So I will uh, go to the grocery store and pick up some supplies and uh, put them over in the Blessing Box, most likely tomorrow morning. Hopefully some sunshine tomorrow, guys. I appreciate you riding along today. So does that laughing gull. <laughs> Thanks for watching.